chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again the area of a square park is 25 square kilometer the time taken to complete a round of the field once at a speed of 3 kilometers per hour is what now this speed is the hint for us that since we require time we must have the distance with us the distance traveled has been given equal to the round of a field once so the distance has to be traveled equal to the perimeter of the square field and for perimeter we will need the side and for side we have been given the area so let us start we know that the square of the side is equal to the area of a field which we can write equal to 25 which has been given to us so from here we can write which implies the side is equal to square root of 25 which is equal to 5 kilometers once we have side we are now in a position to obtain the distance to be traveled so we can write distance is equal to perimeter which is equal to 4 times the side which is equal to 4 into 5 that is equal to 20 kilometers so the distance to be traveled is 20 kilometers it has to be traveled at a speed of 3 kilometers now we simply need the speed distance and time formula so we need to find out time so we can write time is equal to time is equal to distance to be traveled over the speed at which it will be covered which is equal to 20 kilometers and the speed is 3 kilometers per hr therefore be careful about the units they are in kilometers and kilometers per hr compatible had one of them been in meters we would have to convert them so as to make similar from here we can see the time would be 20 by 3 hrs this obviously is not going to be one of the options the options will be always in a simpler format usually it will be in hrs and minutes so what we need is we need to convert this value into hrs and minutes so let us first of all write 20 by 3 3618 and we have a balance remainder of 2 so what we can say is which implies 20 by 3 is equal to 6 2 by 3 6 complete hours and 2/3 of an hour which is equal to 6 complete hours plus 2 by 3 multiplied by 60 this will convert this into minutes which is equal to 6 hours and this will be 320 40 minutes so this is the answer for this question the time taken would be 6 hours and 40 minutes let us move to our next question now the length of a diagonal of a square is 15 square root of 2 cm its area is what 
This question has also been taken from the previous year's SSE exams. And this is a pretty simple question. This is a square for example. And this is the diagonal D. And this is a side. This is a side. The length of the diagonal has been given as this much. Now by Pythagoras theorem, we can see that d square should be equal to a square plus a square. So we can write d square is equal to 2 a square is a relation between the diagonal and the side of a square. But a square is known equal to the area of the square. So we can write it is equal to 2 times area. Now we have the relation between the diagonal and the area. We have been given the diagonal as this much. Simply area has to be found out and now it is a matter of substitution. We can therefore write which implies area is equal to d square by 2 which is equal to now d is 15 square root of 2. This is d square by 2 which is equal to this will be 15 square into 2 by 2. These two will get cancelled out. We can remove these two and this 15 square will be equal to 225 centimeter square. This is the answer. Let us move on to our next question now. The ratio of the area of a square to that of the square drawn on its diagonal is what? Let us first of all draw a small schematic. This is a square the side of which has been given as A and let this be the diagonal of this square equal to D. The ratio of the area of this square that is this square to the one drawn on its diagonal has to be found out. First of all let us write the relation between the diagonal and the side. From Pythagoras theorem, we know that the square of the diagonal is equal to the sum of the squares of this side and of this side. That is, d square is equal to a square plus a square. Let us write this first of all, that d square is equal to 2a square. This is what we have with us. Let us establish the ratio now. Ratio is equal to the area of uh, the square on this side is what? It is a square. This has to be found with respect to. Now when you create a square on the diagonal, the side of that square becomes equal to the diagonal. So it will be equal to by d square which we can write as now d square is we can see that d square is equal to 2a square from this relation. So we can make the substitution it will be a square by 2a square and we can cancel out a square we will be left with 1 by 2. So the required ratio is 1 is to 2. Let us move to our next question now. The difference of the areas of two squares drawn on two line segments of different lengths is 32 square meet centimeter. Find the length of the greater line segment if one is longer than the other by 2 centimeter. 
let me first of all draw a schematic. Suppose this is one line segment and let us suppose this is a second line segment. Let the length of this line segment be L and this is shorter so its length will be L minus 2. A scare is drawn on this. A scare is drawn on this. The difference of the areas has been given to us as 32 and we have to find out the length of the greater that is we have to find out the value of L. Now we can write we have been given is L square the area of the first one minus the area of the second square this difference has been given to us equal to 32. We can open this bracket so we'll write which implies L square minus open this bracket it will be L square minus 2L will be 4L plus 2 square equal to 32. We have written the A minus B whole square formula A square minus 2AB plus B square. Now we can see that this L square and this L square will cancel out and we will be left with this minus minus will become plus so what we will get is 4L and this is 2 square 4 it will be minus 4 equal to 32 which implies L is equal to this 4 will be to the other side it will become 32 plus 4 this 4 will be brought down which is equal to 36 by 4 that is equal to 9 centimeter which is the answer. Let us move to our next question now. If the diagonals of two squares are in the ratio 2 is to 5 their areas will be in ratio of what? This question will require us to have a relation between the diagonal and the area of a square. Now we know that area of a square is equal to a square, the square of the side and from Pythagoras theorem let us draw a square with diagonal D and a side A. By Pythagoras theorem we can see that D square is equal to 2A square which implies A square is equal to D square by 2. Or in simpler form we can write 2A take this to that side is equal to D square is the relation between the diagonal of any square and the area of that square. Now let us suppose we have two squares. So for square 1 we can write for square 1 we should have 2A1 equal to D1 square where A1 and D1 are the diagonals of the square 1. Similarly, we can write for square 2, 2A2 two two should be equal to D2 square. Now we can take the ratios. Take the ratios. We will have 2A1 by 2A2 equal to D1 by D2 whole square. D1 square by D2 square it becomes this. 
which implies this two will cancel out. which implies a1 to a2 will be equal to now d1 by d2 the diagonals of the two squares are in the ratio 2 is to 5 so d1 by d2 has been given to us as 2 by 5 so we can write it 2 by 5 whole square which is equal to 4 by 25 which is the answer. The questions on areas and perimeters, they will always be simple. They are being asked in almost all exams and these marks are always for free. These are all procedural. You do not have to apply logic, but what you need is simply apply the formulas in the correct procedural way. The questions of geometry, they are of a different nature. They require us to have reasoning skills. But the questions of mensuration, they always are procedural type questions. So these marks are always marks in free. Let us move on to our next question now. The diagonal of the square A is A by 2, A plus B. The diagonal of a square whose area is twice the area of the square is what? This is again a game between the area and diagonal. We can write our relation that we have been using it for the past so many questions. That area is equal to d square by 2. I am directly writing this here. The derivation I have already given in a numerous questions that I have solved today also and in my previous video tutorials also. So a is equal to d square by 2. We can write for square a or let us say square 1. We can write a1 is equal to a plus b whole square by 2. The diagonal is a plus b. So the area will be a plus b whole square by 2. And for square 2, for square 2, let the diagonal be equal to d and area is 2 times a1 it is given to us whose area is twice the area of square 1. So what we can write is which implies 2a1 should be equal to d square by 2 which implies d square will be equal to 4 a 1 take this 2 to the other side it makes it 4 a 1 which is equal to 4 into now what is a 1 a plus b whole square by 2 2 which we can write equal to this 2 will cancel 2 into a plus b whole square so this is what we have which implies d is equal to square root of 2 into a plus b whole square that is we can write it equal to square root of 2 into a plus b which is the required answer.